It's the third and final day of Prince Harry and Meghan's trip to Nigeria, and they wrap up their tour in the country's commercial center, Lagos. Yes or no? The Delborough Hotel, beautifully prepped for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, is a fitting venue for their final engagement, which is to raise funds and promote the Invictus Games for wounded military veterans. The goal is quite simple, to raise awareness, raise funds and funding for the mental, psychological health of Nigeria's wounded soldiers. They've been fighting insurgency terrorism in the northern part of the country for years now, over a decade. So it's important to raise the awareness, raise funds for their psychological and social welfare. Meghan stepping out centrally and... Prince Harry and Meghan then step out of the hotel to interact with two veterans who were wounded in service. Afterwards, the couple head over to the Lagos State Government House in Marina to visit Governor Babajide Songwulu. The governor and his wife, Dr. Ibijoke Songwulu, receive the couple and then step in for a closed door meeting with the governor. We're indeed happy for what they are doing, you know, especially for our military men, on the conversations around mental issues, mental health issues, mental illness, you know, and how they can galvanize their various NGOs at ensuring that people that require those supports. The Royal Convoy then makes its way back to the venue for the Invictus Games fundraising event, which is an exclusive one. With an air of prestige and significance, dignitaries step out of their vehicles, greeted by hotel staff and security personnel. Among them are business leaders and philanthropists, all united in their support for wounded soldiers and the Invictus Games Foundation. This is a foundation that caters to uh, sick, injured, and uh, wounded. Uh, veterans and service personnel and um, most of these people uh, once they uh, lose their limbs they are not really able to serve in the military anymore in full active uh, capacity Invictus sets out ultimately to give them a pathway you, you know this will boost the morale of our soldiers to know that when they serve in defense of this nation and defense of any country in the world, the soldiers are remembered and they are not left to cater for and they are not left alone. And this will improve the welfare of our soldiers and they will want to defend us more. We hold them so much more as a country and I believe that the government will see this and try to do the needful. People sacrifice their lives, they go to war for, for a nation and they have families, they have children, they have people that depend on them, and they just sacrifice that. It's, it's a lot for somebody to know anything can happen, and they still took that risk to go and represent the country or fight for the country. I think it's a great motivation. It will motivate them to know that we are solidly behind them and that we understand their sacrifice and their efforts. Knowing that there are a lot of Nigerian wooden soldiers who have served the nation in their own capacity still want hope you know, by having a life after, you know, service, you know, injury and all that. So I think it's a noble concept and I, and I, and I know that it would come to stay. The Chief of Defence Staff, General Christopher Musa, who invited the couple to Nigeria, says the event shows commitment to Nigerian troops. No, no, fantastic. I mean, it shows uh, Nigerians really care about our troops, uh, those that have sacrificed their lives and their bodies for the country, uh, for Nigeria to stay alive, for Nigeria to continue to develop. And uh, for us, uh, me especially and my family, uh, it's a very important event. Uh, it shows uh, that commitment. And for the troops, uh, you know, the ability for them to understand that uh, people care about them. A quick word with the Duke and Duchess. How would you describe it? It's a complete blessing, thank you. How about you? We had a wonderful time, thank you very much for the... Yes, of course we will. The hospitality has been fantastic. Thank you. And that wraps up the fundraising event. The Invictus Games, which began as a passion project for the Duke of Sussex in 2014, turns 10 years this year with its aim to help bring wounded servicemen and women 
as well as veterans, psychological and social support through sports. Nigeria is not only hoping to make its second appearance in the next edition, but hopes to host the Invictus Games in the near future.